And everything that we do, everything, every stage of growth is constantly open to further stages of growth. And, um, you know, we had this little piano class with this interesting professor that we have, but what was, what was interesting is he started talking about the little things involved with, you know, the, the learning of piano or in anything else. And he just all of a sudden got off on the idea, it doesn't matter how small a thing is, there's always something smaller. It's never ending. Because you can always cut it in half or a third, and it doesn't matter. And they've decided in science that there's these things that you can't even see that have to be going on because of other things that are going on. Even though we can't see them because of other reactions that are happening, you know they have to exist. And so they hypothecate on what those are. But it's infinitesimally small. And so the universe is very interesting. So we always think of it as expanding and growing and becoming larger and larger. And the reverse is true. And going inward, it can always become more and more refined. There's more and more growth that can be experienced. There's something underneath all of that. So we have to continue within ourselves always to look at things new, fresh, different. And it's difficult because we want to have the answer, the spot. So we file that away and it's now A, B, C and we don't have to think about it anymore. Well, there is a general A, B, and C, but love has many forms. It's almost inexhaustible. And to get all of, maybe it is inexhaustible, you know, to get all of the forms, you have to continue to be open and to grow. And the same is the aspect of peace. You always have to be open to look at it another way to see its manifestation. If you're not open to look at it, if you filed it away under a certain definition, you're going to miss it when it comes by and the glory of it and, and the benefit that it can give you and others. Every aspect of our spiritual growth is involved with this idea that there is a continual growth, a continual transformation of our mentality. So as we read any type of scripture here, and we look at that scripture, we always want to see it in another light. We want to see it as more than the pat understanding that we had of it, given to us as a child, given to us as an adult, given to us as we made a transformation into our metaphysical lives, there certainly is a, a new understanding. But even that new understanding, if we take the time to meditate upon it, will have further understandings that we didn't at first see, as is true in our present scripture. So we look at our kingdom, we look at the idea that it's ever growing, ever evolving, but part of that is, is that the concepts of love and peace and truth are growing and evolving, and we must be open to grow and evolve with them. It's not just one moment, it's the opportunity. The kingdom of heaven is the opportunity to go to a place to acquire more knowledge and more growth. That's what it is. And if we keep going there with the same thought, the same idea, the same regimented purpose, we've missed it. We're sitting in the kingdom and we're not growing or appreciating all that it has to offer. We only get one aspect of it. So it's the continual renewal that becomes important to us. Okay, with those thoughts in mind, uh, let us leave off and we'll begin again next week so let us turn to our um, acceptance statement on page five now, now may the light illumine our mind with wisdom may love fill our heart with understanding may the one life shine forth from our innermost being so that we walk renewed in light life love today tomorrow and forever